Do y'all see this? Oh, the disrespect, honey. Oh, I'm calling Amazon. That, that whole situation really helped me to realize the importance of a true partnership. So I'm going to stop it right there because me and my significant other are no longer together. Again, a f again. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old sh Yep. I'm recording you because this is foolery. I was like, who are these neighbors, right? Because they're doing a lot and it hasn't even been a week. Come to find out, they were not Becky's or Karen's. It was Arnetta. Started to like literally just do better and to be positive despite certain things that I've been dealing with mentally and spiritually and emotionally and it just seems like I just keep getting kicked in the face. Hey y'all, what's good? Hey, what's poppin'? It's Wednesday. I am lying this Thursday. Thursday. And I know I should have been recorded. But you know what? God is good. And that's the only thing that matters at this moment. I know y'all hear something in the background. That's me cooking my chicken. Because the girl is hungry. Troy's about to go to football practice. Um, they got a game on Saturday. Y'all gonna, gonna go see that. It's me and TK. But we've been making friends. He got a little school friend. We've been talking. You know, getting to know each other. You know what I'm saying? You know, mano a mano. At this point... Life is good. Like it, that that whole situation really helped me to realize the importance of a true partnership. So I'm going to stop it right there because me and my significant other are no longer together. And long story. But uh it was on my birthday, which is why I didn't really post like that uh for a little while, but I'm back at it and so <laughs> we're going forward it. All right, let's let's do that. Get my son ready for school. Make sure okay, that, that wasn't enough. So now let me um forward some more. Sorry, guys. It was a long one. Very long winded. Anywho, we about to get ready. I'm cooking right now. I got my waist cincher on. Because I told myself, I said, look, bada bam, bada bam. Bada boom, bada boom. Don't mind a nail. I'm getting it done tomorrow. Okay, period. If you ain't going to cinch in, I'm getting surgery. That's period. Turn that down. Look at this. I pray for Stephanie. He insisted on doing the scooter, using the scooter while letting her walk. Troy, just send her. Yep. I'm recording you. Because this is foolery. I have to get him to use the bathroom. Come on. Look at this nigga. Look, you're choke. You are choking her. Look at the look at that. You're not about to, you about to put that over there. Because I'm not having you choke her. Look what you're doing. Look what's happening. Look what's happening. Look what's happening. Okay, period. Y'all see Balto? Look at this nigga. He better calm that. He can better calm that ass down. Just wait till Ken get older if he still stay with me. What? He listened. No, he didn't listen. He's 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 still screaming. Come on. Let's go downstairs. Put your jacket on the right way, please. Mm. How did God make what? Oh, um. He, he, it leaves all types of colors. He's in heaven. How did he do that? So when we are all asleep and he doesn't feel like he's going to sleep, he actually... Put your jacket on the right way, please. Oh, I think that's the Uber. No, it's not. It's passing us by. Come on. Where, where do you think your team is, Troy? Where did you see Chandler go? Can you hurry up, please? 
Tori, go with your team, please. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Hustle, Troy, faster. Oh, God. Run, boys. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to AJ. Happy birthday to you. Wasn't much that happened today, but you know what? I had to vlog something to show y'all that I'm still here for you. <laughs> because second graders are older than you. And I'm second grader too. So how does that make sense? Well, you're on the second grade team, but you're a first grader. <laughs> so far the, the score is oh the music so so far oh okay they stopped it okay so far the score is zero to zero Thank you. so something's got to shake we'll see what happens but um yeah, something definitely got to shake. Troy, how do you feel about losing, baby? I feel, I don't care. I, 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 I don't care about winning or losing. I would just be happy. I guess, I guess that's fine. Mm, that must smell good. But, guess what? Guess what? Look, yes. listen to him. You gonna be, you gonna be great. You are the greatest. You're TKC? T, T. You can see the man to be. The man to be. Look at you. You're not going to eat that yet. Mmm. You'll eat it in a so second. So yummy. Hey. Hey. Hey, what? I'm going to put this on YouTube. <laughs> Delete it. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ready to eat? Come on. Did you make my bread too? No, I didn't microwave your bread. Oh. I love you, mommy. Love you too, baby. Mm. Here's your food. You got your muffin? Mm hmm Did you say Grace? Oh. Yeah, this Grace. Lemons are just worth it. Amen. Amen. Go on. Why is it darker than the other one? Because that's the sausage. That's the um pancake sausage one you asked mm. for. Oh. It's hot. Mm. It's good, mm. isn't it? You gotta clean your closet. Look at the closet. Mm, I like the skin. Mm. Why is your pants hanging low like that? You don't want to look swaggy. You want to look swaggy? Yeah, I will look like a little bit under. under. Oh my god. Brother the case just for my homeboy to tell me that he don't need the case. That was a waste. And I had to go all the way up my four flights of steps. But that's okay. Because the body's gonna be body. God knew. He said, you said you wanted something, ask for it, you gonna get it. So I'm gonna make you go up these four flights of steps. So we on our way to the animal hospital. Finally. Oh God. Relax. 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 Happy talk animal hospital. Come on. Come on, come on, shorty. Come on, 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 come on
Hi. Hi there. Whew. There's a lot going on. How many? Sonny's? Yeah. Hi. What you want? I did the king. He's, he's grabbing on to me. Ah, I did sauce. Hello, King. <laughs> King. And if he has worms, I'm gonna hurt you, okay? Because he's a puppy. You want to Stephanie? She's like, what? Look at her. She's probably not gonna eat it. You know Stephanie won't be eating nothing. That guy's a beast. He'll eat anything. Oh, eat anything. <laughs> Troy, calm down. He's eating so much. Yeah, no more doggy treats for him because if he poop in here, it's it's it's, it's game time for you. <laughs> CK, you ready? Look at your food, Troy. And you helped me make it. Thank you. All right, now get down. So you can go in your room, say your grace. I'll go in my room. Yep, because I have to finish my stuff. Say your grace. Okay, that is it. Wow. Wow. Y'all already know what it is. We about to watch the Ravens. Baltimore 18. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Maybe if you just let her sniff you. No, I didn't say King like come here. No, go back over there and talk to homegirl. Go talk to your go talk to your sister. I didn't say. I didn't. See, she's trying to sniff you. Let her sniff you. Let her sniff you. See, she like you. She might be a heat. Oh God. Why the brother bring me to your sister? Oh, stop being mean to my sister, little dog brother. Little dog brother. Choice, stop. Stop. Break it up. Stop. Stop. No. Break it up. Look at that. I got clean, I know. Break it up. King. Break it up. I know. Hey, y'all. I got my waist session on. I told y'all I'm not playing no games no more. I'm about sick and tired of being sick and tired. Do you hear me? Like, you finna get, <laughs> I'm, I've been in there. Got some packages. And I feel like this is a small soap. And the amount of money that it cost me to even purchase this soap is nuts. Let me turn this TV down. The Ravens already won. That's this point blank period. Why did it take so long? Like, I'm like, actually, annoyed. Oh, this is my... 
Oh, this is my shea butter. Let me read it. I was like, wait a minute now. That's feeling real light for that big soap that I asked for. Now it's time for this one. What just got going on? I know I should use my nails, girl. But baby, I'm the hawk. Oh, this is the Halloween decorations that Troy wants to do. This is the band-aids because he hurt himself. There's the soap. This is what I Oh no! Do y'all see this? Oh, the disrespect, honey. Oh, I'm calling Amazon. Oh, hold on, y'all. Let me take a picture of this. All right, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I had to take a picture of that because they really tried me. Since I don't have a car right now to be able to go to the, um, what you call it? The, uh, since I don't have a car right now to be able to go to the dumpster, I have to do all this with my boxes because I need to be able to put them and fit them in the trash can because we have valet service and they only accept a certain trash bag. So, and I gotta put my trash can up there until guests come because I can't have homeboy over there chewing and eating myself. You wanna come out the cage now? You ready to stop doing the most? You ready to stop doing the most? I might give y'all a little treat or something later. But then I'm gonna take you right outside after your treat because I'm not having you poop. So I forgot if I recorded this or not for y'all. But basically, uh, King did not use the bathroom in here from what I know. And that partly is because I decided that I needed to have him stay in the cage for a little while. Well, when I say a little while, I mean a long while. And he was not able to do anything um, because he was in the cage. So he had no choice but to go outside and use the bathroom. That's the first thing. So I fed him his breakfast. Best Stephanie, and then immediately took it onto the bathroom, and then he used the bathroom. I don't remember if I bought some pumpkins or not. If I didn't, I know Troy's gonna be getting in my ass about that because he wanted pumpkins. But listen, when you're paying twenty four hundred dollar rent, not including anything else, and you're doing it by yourself, I made you chill out. Ooh, wow, wow, Kane. You're never gonna need food. Well, no one his hungry hippo, but he will. But look at this. I know what this is. Huge. So, you're gonna be good for the rest of your life. Well, soon I'm gonna give him a little bit of some food, and then after I give him some food, um, I'm gonna walk them. Y'all may see that, y'all may not. My little girlies, my little cutie pies. But first things first, next one thing for sure, two things for certain, one thing for certain, two things for sure. Um, Troy's about to go to cooking. In an hour, I will be looking for Uber so that we can get that together. So I have to first buy some stuff off the table. I don't want to, you need some clothes. So I'm gonna buy some of that and make sure I drink my water. Tonight, I will have to, up, you know, um, call my parents so I can get my printer together so that um, I can print out his field trip information. And um, I take my address off of there. And yeah, um, that's pretty much what we're doing right now. And uh, I love you guys, you cutie pies, you high vibers, little rascals. I'll see you guys later. Okay, hey, baby, come on. Okay, y'all, so we are about to get the Uber to take Troy to his private lessons. And, man, check the outfit. I just feel so swaggy, minus the open. Troy, please. Yo, sometimes I try, I mean, I, I, I catch myself. Troy, please come on. We have to hurry up. Y'all pray for me. I just... It's just the not listening. If y'all have experience with a sister, almost seven year old who just almost like, he like wants to make me upset. If y'all have experienced that before, let me know in the comments because it's very trying. It's very trying. And like, it's, it almost always happens when we have somewhere to go. It's like, why are you doing this? He's all the way over there. I don't even see him. Come on, Troy. Lord help me, so I will. The Uber's right here. 
All right, y'all, we'll be back. The Uber is right there, and he is. You ready for football? Yes. Ready for practice? Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm going to definitely give you some long sleeves from now on. It's starting to get a little nippy out here. I'm going to run. Go ahead. Hustle. Look at this guy. Keep going. That's all you got? <laughs> oh, you missed me. Okay. There we go. So yeah, the coach is running a little late. Um, oh well, oh, um, all is well. Uh, hopefully he really does come at 7.15. Um, we were, it was supposed to be, the press was supposed to be at five o'clock but he had some uh, urgent thing or something like that. So the uh, wound up being um, pushed back to seven and it's gonna be dark as crap by the time we get home. But um, I told me myself, I'm not letting him miss any more sessions. We are still waiting for this coach. Let's see how tall I am. Uh, I am hmm, just like I thought, short. <laughs> This time, this time I want you to step to it, right? You're gonna step one foot, right? No, I'll tell you what, uh, two feet. So you're right here, I want you like this. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Go. All right, good, good, good. Now this time, I want you to step on sideways. So on the side, you be right here. I want you to do this right here. You do this right here, right here. So, pop, pop, pop. With, with your right, with your, uh, with your right foot. Just try it. Like this, just like I did. Do what I did. Like, let's, do, let's do step, step, step through this, 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 this uh, circle right here. Pop, run, pop, run, pop. Like this, like this, like this. Pop, run, pop, run, pop. Like this, right? Okay. Okay, you do it. Ready? Go. There you go. Okay. Now let's go by the other side. Now you're gonna do it with the left leg, all right? Mm -hmm. So right here. So I want you to step in the, in the circle right here. All right, let's try. Ready? Bring your knees, ready? Go. There you go. Good, Good job. job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Y'all see how dark it is? We're still here. The apartment is about like, I'll say, um, 2,400. But, but not, utilities and stuff like oh that. yeah not a quick utility in total that's about almost three thousand dollars because i have to get the um insurance the gas the electric all of that yeah, stuff like, yeah i don't know how i do it either honestly yeah. um that's i'm going to create that other room into a studio yeah. um and start doing my content there so i could actually start like really um honing into it so i can start getting paid again um yeah so but like yeah i'm a content creator okay, yeah so yeah it's, it's it's definitely a it's definitely challenging um i don't know <laughs> yeah i was just like man i know this apartment is expensive and i only see her and her son in here yep it's it's just it's just us two um and he's in football so you know that cost money. Yeah. But you know, I just keep my faith in God and just know that you know everything's everything's gonna work out. It's a reason for everything. So I try to think of I mean at the beginning I was like really stressed because I didn't know how I was gonna do this by myself, but God you keep your faith in God, everything's gonna be good. Exactly. 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 But yeah, once I create that into a studio, I feel like You'll be able to do. I'll be able to, you know, push through and yes, really do what I got to do. That's good. That's good. <sighs> I was just wondering, because, man, I know it's got to be tough. Yeah. 
<laughs> Especially when you have a son that wants every day. It's supposed to be the holidays. That's what I'm freaking out on. Oh, yeah. And I'm it, like, woo! It's expensive right now, too. It, is it? All right, so it's good to go. Uh, we got the filter replaced on it. I did see that he had a little bit of an air leak in there, so I went ahead and taped everything back up, got everything going. Okay. And that's, that's really it, man. Oh, I appreciate it. I had to record that because he basically was saying, like, how is it? I noticed that it's just you and your son and there's nobody in the other room. How? Look, this is what he had to say. But that's because I'm working on the clothes. But anyway, he was like, I noticed it was just you and your son. Like, how are you doing this? Like, how are you able to pay for this stuff? Because it's really, really expensive here. It's really, really expensive for somebody who even has, you know, a two-parent household. And I was like... God. Well, y'all heard some of it. I was, I was like, let me hurry up and record it. Let me hurry up and record it. Um, because, yeah, at first I was fearful. But you got to do what you got to do. Like, it's unfortunate about the situation that happened. It's unfortunate that I am having to do this on my own. Literally, on my own. But at the end of the day, like, like I told him, like, through God, all things are possible. And not just through God, but through the faith in God and the faith in yourself. Because if you don't believe that you can do it, then it's not going to get done. And so every month, yes, I do have to hustle. Every month, yes, I do have to figure it out. I don't know how I'm going to figure it out this month. There's 15 more days left. Rent is literally at almost 3000 with all this stuff. Not including gas and electric or anything. But I got to get it done. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing these vlogs. Because and being transparent. And no shade to other people who are not as transparent. Who want to like put out this picture perfect but life is not picture perfect. And God even said that life was not going to be picture perfect. So at the end of the day, like, I want you to actually showcase the real. So y'all can really see in real time what it really is to be a single mom. What it really is to have to really go through the motions and do what you got to do. Um, but yeah, I had to, like, literally, I don't know how I'm going to put it in here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to put this segment in here yet. Because I'm still working on... The first vlog, <laughs> sorry, but um, I am gonna put it because it's, it's a need. I'm hungry, I have not ate. Um, it is, oh my God, it's three o'clock. Oh my God, I gotta eat. Okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all later because your girl is hungry. By the way, shout out to maintenance for um, assisting me with this um, because I had three on there. I don't know if y'all remember, but I had three. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm not going to call him back, so I guess I'm going to... Yikes, I should just left that shit. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the curtains like this maybe forever. Why is that cup still out there? It's been days. I'm still going to keep the curtains like this probably forever because, like, on some real, that was obnoxious. For sure. I'm just a bit overwhelmed right now because basically um, I have these neighbors that gotcha. I have these neighbors that basically seem to have had it out for me and my um, ex roommate, and like from day one, they literally were like, they literally the first day that we moved in put in a complaint because the people called me the next day and said, hey. Um, we received some, basically a noise complaint. And it was because we were moving boxes because we literally just moved. Then they put another complaint in three days later saying there were some noises at 8 o'clock p.m. on a Sunday and it was loud and, and all that. And I was like, who are these neighbors, right? Because they're doing a lot and it hasn't even been a week. Come to find out, they were not Becky's or Karen's. It was Arnetta. It was an Arnetta. I mean, like, I'm like, so you're the same neighbor that I said the first day. I said, I introduced myself. I said, hey, I'm Danny. I'll be your new neighbor. This, that, and a third. And it was weird energy between her, she and her husband. But I didn't think much of it. I just let it go because I'm a friendly person. And so my thing is, you really are, like, my age. And, you know... You could have knocked on the door. You could have did anything. And plus, I wasn't even that loud. Like I said, lifting boxes. So anyway, that was that was then. 
They put in another complaint and called the police on us and um, said all this stuff that wasn't true. And then, literally yesterday, while I was in a meeting at work, there was police and my leasing agent at my door saying, "This is your last complaint. This is your last time. If we hear another, uh, basically, if we get another noise complaint from from one of your neighbors, you're out of here. Basically, you, you, your son, everybody got to go." And mind you guys, I literally have been going through a lot of things. Um, having to, like I've been saying, having to pay all this stuff on my own and figuring that out, you know, dealing with my son and his like, t like, I don't know and he's just going through this phase where he's just not listening and it's just really, really been taking a toll on my spiritual and emotional health. Dealing with these dogs, him, the only hope that he, the only positive that he has, like, he's like, don't get rid of, you know, the dog or whatever. Because maybe I'm like, I got to get rid of him. Now I got to go to the leasing office and work my magic and pray to God that I could talk to them and explain to them that these neighbors, like, literally are, like, out to get me. And what can I do to make this situation better? Yes, of course, the, you know, response is be quieter. But my thing is, there's people out here, literally, that are yelling, there's, like, parties there's african there's mexican party all these type of things going on nobody's complaining it with them but for some reason i manifested a neighbor who complains on every single thing even if it's the slightest thing and so i'm like okay so maybe this is god testing me for some reason i'm just not sure why i'm not sure what the you know i i i i, I can make up things i can start thinking things you know the only thing i can really think of is danielle there's going to be some great stuff happening in your life you have to get certain things together. Um, you have to develop more patience, more understanding, and less worry. Because your destiny is big. And I have to put certain things in your life, obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, so I can prepare you for what is to come. Because I've been more clearer. I've been thinking more clearer. I've been, I've been, I've been, you know, trying my best to have patience. So I'm learning the patient situation. I have not been as patient as I would like to be. Um, and that's something that I've asked God for. And now I'm getting these situations because sometimes we think it's Satan when it's really God trying to hone us, shape us, you know, so that we can literally be, um, and go towards our destiny that we're asking for. If we're asking for patience, he's going to give us, you know, things that's going to require patience. And so when it comes to, you know, my son and how he's been acting and everything like that, and when it comes to the football situation, when it comes to, you know, the dogs, when it comes to the neighbor, all that requires, requires patience and, you know, understanding and, 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 and really figuring out and, and also problem solving because I ain't going to lie. I haven't drank in a little bit and I wanted to drink so bad because and, and that's that's my that's my advice. I want to drink so bad because I was like, yo, I literally am on this call that's being recorded, and you have the audacity to do this. Like, really, I don't I don't want my job being jeopardized because I had to stop. You know what I'm saying? And answer a door that I was trying to ignore because you know you came to my home that I pay all this money for to tell me basically if I hear another noise complaint little girl basically that you're getting kicked out and so like that's that's I'm, I'm like you know all right god you know heard you like what is it that you want me to learn from the situation i'm not gonna drink i was so close i was so close to going to that store because i that's what i usually do if i go if i deal with stress this was an extreme situation i will go right down there to the store and you know what one of the biggest things, one of the biggest triumphs from yesterday was the fact that I didn't. I stayed my butt right home. And that was very hard for me to do because it was very stressful to hear, you know, all. it was just so much, y'all. And so I say all that to say that sometimes, sometimes we go through things and we wonder why. And, you know... I stopped looking at it in an emotional point of view and I started looking at it in more of a spiritual point of view and being like, okay, um, I asked God to help me with patience. I, I told God that I'm ready for, you know, the ultimate life that I desire. You know, I said all these different things. So if you have to prepare me in a certain way, I shouldn't get upset. I should just figure out what I got to do so that, you know, I can get the things that I desire. Because, y'all, I was so, y'all don't understand. I was this close 
to go and get something, to go and get a drink. Because I, I just couldn't take it. It was like problem after problem after problem. It was problem after problem after problem. And it just it just seemed unbearable, honestly. So I have a meeting at work and then I have to go to Lisa's office and hopefully I can work my magic and see, like, talk to them. What is it that I need to do? Um, how can we make this more of a positive experience? You know what I'm saying? Like, because this ain't it. This ain't it. Hey, lovely people. I am on my way to go to Lisa's office to talk to them. I also have to get my mail. My mail, like I told y'all, I don't think I, I don't know if I told y'all. It's literally a 40 minute walk <laughs> from where I'm at and I don't have a vehicle at this time. So I'll be taking that walk. I'll be taking that walk. But the biggest thing is, yes, the mail, because it has my ID in there and I need to get this passport uh, before December 1st, shoot, before November 25th, honestly. Y'all, like I said, I just, God really has a funny way of like really getting you to wake up. He definitely got my attention. So yeah, I'll be back and I'll let y'all know how it goes. So long story short, it did end the best way that I wanted it to end. Basically, they do like me and everything, so that's why I'm not being like completely terminated or whatever, but I'm just over it because I just don't understand. Like, I really have been working hard to just not fumble the ball. I've been working hard to like literally just do better and to be positive despite certain things that I've been dealing with mentally and spiritually and emotionally and it just seems like I just keep getting kicked in the face yeah it's the final warning like if any other complaint like I gotta go and of course that's sucky <laughs> I'm gonna do that and now I'm I'm being like charged fees and of course you know they said they didn't want to do it or whatever and it wasn't their intention but you gotta do what you gotta do if people are complaining so now I totally forgot that I had to make a payment today. So now my electricity is turned off. Great. I can't even be upset. I can't even be depressed. I just have to, I don't know, at this point, like this has never been my life. This has just literally been a roller coaster for the past month and a half two my almost two months thought it was over but then this guy hit i have a meeting in five minutes paid the past due and long story short they don't know when it's going to come on i have two important meetings today how are we going to eat i guess we're going to eat cold stuff until they turn it on i just want to know when do i get a break Toy, please stop that. Okay. I don't know. Peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly and chips it is because my power is out. And um, yeah. Well, this ended a little abruptly. However, getting bathed, this was a very long vlog. So I had to end it like this and put my one of my cute little doggies. But yeah. It'll be kind of sort of like a part two next Sunday. Love you, babies. And bye. And I know things are going to get better.